Welcome to today's webinar designed to show you how you can elevate your future at this year's National Fall Leadership Conferences. I'm National Membership Director Lisa Smothers. Joining me today is our FBLA National Secretary Bruna Taveras. You may submit questions at any time during the broadcast using the GoToWebinar toolbar at the top right of your screen. We'll answer questions at the end of this presentation. We hope you're making plans to attend one of the National Fall Leadership Conferences this November. Join members from across the country in Buffalo, St. Louis, or New Orleans. At the two-day conference, you'll hear from engaging speakers, attend dynamic workshops, visit with exhibitors, and network with other students and advisors from across the country. Take full advantage of the opportunities by actively participating in all of that the NFLC has to offer. When you arrive at the conference, review the program in detail to find the best schedule for you. A preliminary conference schedule can be found in the NFLC guide on the conference page of our website, and it's not too late to register for any of our three NFLCs. Note that the conference registration fee does not include hotel or meals. Advisors, be sure to talk to your members about expenses and help students determine how much spending money they'll need for food, dining, entertainment, and souvenirs. Online registration and more conference information can be found on the NFLC website page at go.fbla.org slash NFLC. This page also has information on conference hotels, optional tours, transportation discounts, and area attractions. The hotel reservation deadlines are quickly approaching and rooms are available on a first-come, first-served basis. Once the room block is full, you may not be able to receive the special conference rate. So book your room today. Now here's Bruna to talk about some of the special tracks that we'll be offering at this year's NFLC sites. Thank you, Mrs. Mothers. FBLA freshmen and sophomores can attend FBLA Foundations, which teaches them how they can leverage national programs. This is hosted by the FBLA National Officer Team and will be conducted by the FBLA National Officers that will be attending each site. The track kicks off on Friday with a special series of workshops. On Saturday, students will be integrated into the workshops that will give them the best overall conference experience. Just look for the foundations label next to the recommended workshops for each time slot. Each city will feature an FBLA state officer track where your state teams will learn more about national programs. Friday evening will feature a reception where state officer teams can interact with one another. On Saturday, from 8 a.m. until noon, state officers will attend a series of workshops designed exclusively for them. Special guest speakers for this track include Rhett Lawbach, a motivational speaker, and Jane Anderson, president of BDC Productions. Advisors may sign students up for these tracks during the regular conference registration process by checking the appropriate box for each track. And don't forget about the FBLA Middle Level Program, which will be held exclusively at the New Orleans NFLC. This track will take attendees to the new LEAD program and the new competitive events that are being offered. FBLA middle level members will work through hands-on activities with, which will earn them the bronze level pin that will be presented to them at the end of the workshop track. Remember to submit your dues by the October 20th deadline to be eligible for national membership awards at the NFLCs including largest local chapter, largest state chapter, Largest Local Chapter Professional Division, Largest State Chapter Professional Division, Largest Increase in State Chapter Membership, State Recruitment of Chapters, and Market Share Award for FBLA. And your national officers in the March of Dimes have teamed up to present plaques to the FBLA and PBL State raising the most money for the March of Dimes by October 20th. In addition, we'll recognize the top 10 FBLA states for super sweeps. Each FBLA chapter that achieves super sweeps will receive special ribbons for each of their NFLC delegates to wear throughout the conference. We also recognize the local and state chapters with the largest delegations at each NFLC. So bring as many members as you can. Back to you, Bruna. To promote the mission of our partner, Lead Your Feed, your FBLA national officers are encouraging local chapters to bring canned, foods, canned food items for our NFLC food drive which will be held at each NFLC site. Each local chapter's contribution counts towards your state's total. The state contributing the most amount of canned food overall will receive brownie rights and will be featured in tomorrow's business leader. Will your state come out on top? 
Let's take a closer look at each NFLC site. Buffalo, New York kicks off our NFLC season on November 3rd through 4th. The conference will be held at the Hyatt Regency Buffalo. Buffalo is home to many exciting attractions like the Buffalo Museum of Science and the breathtaking Niagara Falls. Looking for a particular workshop topic? You will find something for every one of your members in Buffalo. From international dining etiquette to careers in social media, you and your students will hear from speakers who will bring business to you. Rat Law Badge, Buffalo's opening keynote speaker, has more than 20 years of experience, which has taken him to 48 states, the Bahamas, Canada, and to over 1 million audience members. Join him for a high energy and high impact performance. In addition to the FBLA Foundations and State Officer Tracks, your students can choose from workshop topics presented by professional speakers, business professionals, and state and national officers. Matt Bellins, a professional speaker and stand-up comedian, will keynote the closing session. Now here's Mrs. Mother to talk about the St. Louis and New Orleans National Fall Leadership Conferences. Thanks, Bruna. St. Louis, Missouri, with its iconic 630-foot gateway arch, will host the second NFLC on November 10th and 11th. Rhett Laubach will again keynote the opening session. Throughout this two-day conference, your members may choose from a variety of different workshops from the areas of management, marketing, accounting, entrepreneurship, and FBLA PBL programs. St. Louis is offering several business tours on Friday exclusively for our PBL members. Many of these tours also include presentations on site by the employees of these companies. Finally, Scott Bakovich will speak at the closing session. He has been featured on TV and radio and is an internationally demanded youth speaker. The birthplace of jazz, New Orleans, Louisiana, is the final NFLC site. Whether you are looking to experience the Big Easy from the heart of the French Quarter or looking to immerse yourself in the culture, this is the city for you. From Benet's at the famous Café du Monde to Mardi Gras masks and pralines, you are sure to find a little bit of New Orleans to bring back home. Friday, choose from workshops from the areas of ethics and cybersecurity. You can even find out how to become a millionaire. I know I'd like to. Rhett Labach will keynote the opening session. Saturday offers more workshops on social media and project management or join the Louisiana FBLA State Officer Team for an interactive lesson on etiquette. Want to learn more about national programs and how to recruit members for your chapter? We have the workshops. Come and gain tips from the best. Patrick Pacman Perez will keynote the closing session. Besides being an energetic combination of rhythm, caffeine, and leadership with style, he has mentored contestants from America's Got Talent and So You Think You Can Dance. Now here's Bruna to talk about the March of Dimes activities planned for each NFL CSA. Can we count on you to be a hero for babies? Your national officers will have March of Dimes change collection buckets at the registration desk. Every little bit helps. Look for the buckets and drop your spirit change. And don't forget to bring your dancing shoes and your donation for the Blue Jeans for Babies dance at each NFLC. The first 200 people to give donations at the dance will receive some March of Dimes swag. So look cool with your official March of Dimes sunglasses. Each NFLC site will be competing to see which site can raise the most money for the March of Dimes. And remember to dress for success at the NFLC. FBLA PBL's official dress code upholds the professional image of our association and our members and helps students prepare for the business world. Appropriate attire is required for all attendees, members, advisors, and guests at the opening and closing sessions workshops, and other conference activities. The only exception is the March of Dimes Blue Jeans for Babies dance on Saturday night. Conference name badges are part of the dress code and must be worn at all conference activities. For safety reasons, attendees should not wear name badges when touring and dining outside of the conference hotel. Back to you, Mrs. Mothers. Thanks, Bruna. The NFLCs aren't the only upcoming events. We hope your chapter is preparing to celebrate Prematurity Awareness Month in November to raise awareness for the March of Dimes. Check out go.fbla.org mod for resources to help your chapter get started with raising funds and awareness for FBLA PBL's National Service Partner. Remember to plan activities to celebrate the Free Enterprise System for American Enterprise Day on November 15th. 
this is the perfect time for your chapter officers to meet with local and state legislators or to have your members write to their senators and congressmen about the benefits of FBLA and career and technical education and how it ties back into our free enterprise system. There's still time for your FBLA chapter to complete super sweeps, the first step in the chapter challenge. The top 10 FBLA super sweep states will be recognized at the NFLCs, and it's not too early to start planning for the second step in the chapter challenge, nonstop November. Find more information on both of these programs on our website at fbla-pbl.org. And speaking of the NLC, it's never too early to start making plans to attend. The best and the brightest of FBLA and PBL convene to compete, network, earn recognition, attend exciting workshops, and visit the exhibits at our National Leadership Conference next summer in Baltimore, Maryland. Now is a great time to choose your competitive event or begin working on a project. Check out the online chapter management handbook to see all the ways you and your chapter can earn recognition at this year's conference. From winning a competitive event trophy and a cash award to receiving your BAA America, LEAD Gold, or CMAP President pin, or even earning name badge ribbons for chapter recognition, the possibilities are endless. The NLC will be here before you know it, so start working now to earn your place at this wonderful event. Check out our website for national fundraising partners to help you pay for your trip to the NLC. Make sure you follow us on social media and post photos on our sites with the hashtags for each conference. Hashtag NFLC17NY for Buffalo, hashtag NFLC17MO for St. Louis, hashtag NFLC17LA for New Orleans. Now it's time to answer your questions. If we run out of time before we get to your questions, we'll email you individually. Let's take a look here. Looks like we had several questions submitted, so let's start with the first one and jump right in. So the first question is from Susan in Vermont. She wants to know why FBLA state officers should attend the state officer track and what benefit will be in it for them. Bruna, can you answer this one for us? Thanks for the question, Susan. The state officer track is an amazing opportunity for state teams to learn how to use national programs and social media, recruit and retain members, and network with FBLA national officers and other state officer teams. You'll have the chance to receive feedback on your state's career of work, bounce ideas off of other state officers, and collaborate with national and state officers. You'll also learn how to effectively communicate with members and chapters across your state to ensure you have a successful year. Whether it is learning about the ins and outs of being a state officer or networking with all the amazing people there, the state officer track is definitely an opportunity you don't want to miss. And I think that to just kind of add on to that, the state officer track it does give you the unique opportunity to network with individuals. The great thing about it is, it is it kicks off Friday evening um, with a reception where you really can kind of interact informally and I think that's kind of a great thing and not only do you get those cool little state officer ribbons you really have the opportunity this year for the first time to have some special guest speakers as well so don't miss out on that it's a great opportunity let's take a look at the next question the next question is from Amanda who is a FBLA middle-level advisor and she's going to New Orleans with some of her students she wants to know what will her students be doing in the middle level track and if it's on Saturday, what will they be doing on Friday? So I'll take this one. So Amanda, thanks so much for your question. On Friday, basically what you do is your students attend whatever workshops they want and then they'll go to the opening general session and that kind of really sets the tone and motivates everyone. I always say that um, the greatest thing is attending those sessions and see how enthused everybody is about FBLA, FBLA middle level, and PBL. Then on Saturday, that starts the special session. And what's really unique about this year is everything that we're doing in this session really will be able to help them build up to the LEAD program, which is our new recognition program, and that has three parts. It has the first level, which is the bronze level, and the second level, which is the silver level, which is awarded at the state level, and the third level is the gold level, which for the first time for middle level is awarded at the national level. So all of the activities by the end of the session will be doing the hands-on activities, and you'll actually earn 
the kids will, the bronze level pin, and it'll be presented there and we'll have a photo session. So it's a really nice opportunity to not only learn about our new programs and um, learn about some of the new competitive events because this is really the first year that we're piloting, um, piloting I'm sorry, middle level taking some events at nationals, you learn kind of how to prepare for them, but you're walking away with a tangible item in that bronze level pin. So I hope to see everybody at that FBLA middle level track. Let's take a look at the next question. So the next question is from Robert in Iowa. He's going to St. Louis with some of his chapter members and would like ideas on how to raise money because of the cost with the hotel and the transportation. They'd really like to help offset some of those costs. So Bruna, can you give him some ideas? You're pretty experienced with that. Of course. Thanks for the awesome question, Robert. So first, I'm super happy to hear that you'll be going to NFLC in St. Louis. And there are many ways you can fundraise to help with the cost for hotel and transportation. You should probably start by looking at our fundraising partners, which can be found on the online chapter management handbook on the national website. They have some amazing ideas and products that you can sell um, that will help you fundraise. And then also try partnering your fundraising efforts and events with a local event going on, such as a football game at your school or any local festivals in your town. That way you can easily attract more people to your fundraising event. And don't be afraid to reach out to local businesses and community leaders to ask for support. Just make sure you tell them how going to NFLC will impact your members and the effect that they have in your community. And some of them will be more than happy to help your chapter get there. And don't forget to promote your fundraisers as much as possible, whether that's through social media, your local newspaper, the news. And make sure that the people who need to know about the fundraiser know about it so they can attend and they can help you guys get to St. Louis. That's some really great tips and I know um, my first few years when I was advisor what really helped is that we checked with the neighboring schools and we kind of went together and booked a charter bus and we all traveled together and played some trivia games and watched some movies so it was kind of a bonding activity with area chapters as well. So you may want to check some of those area chapters out and see if they're going and see if you can kind of collaborate on transportation. It's like the next question is from Travis in Kentucky. Um, he said that you mentioned that there will be tours for PBL in St. Louis. What are some of the tours and how can I sign up? So I'll go ahead and take this question for you, Travis. It's a great question and I will tell you that our PBL national offices have been working so hard putting a special program together for you and they have some tours and some of the tours are giving more than one. So some of the tours range from Edward Jones to Stock Legal to the Better Business Bureau and Peabody Energy. So it's some great things because not only are these businesses offering the tours, um, some of them are giving presentations as well on site. So that's great. So what you can do is look for the forms which will be up on the NFLC website very soon and as soon as they go up you can sign up for that. Um, I really would encourage you to do that because it's great that we seldom, we don't always have the opportunity to have so many of these business tours. So that's just great. Okay, the next question is from Alice from Arkansas, who's a middle level advisor. She wants to know if any middle level membership awards will be presented at the NFLC this year. So I'll go ahead and take this question as well. And that's a great question, Alice. Um, we've had a couple of people ask that question since. New Orleans is the official NFLC track. We will be presenting the membership awards for middle level there on stage in New Orleans. So the awards that we'll present are largest state chapter, largest local chapter, uh, largest local chapter that brings the most members there, and largest state chapter in attendance. So those are the different awards that will be offered. So we hope to see you there and we hope that your chapter will be one of those on stage. Um, there will also be awards for the other, um, and we mentioned this earlier in the webinar, for FBLA and PBL, and those will be presented at whichever NFLC the winner will be attending. Okay, looks like we have time for one more question. So this question is from Donnie in Florida. He wants to know if there will be NFLC conference shirts for sale. Um, Bruna, can you tell our listeners a little bit about the marketplace and then if indeed there will be a conference shirt available? Of course. Um, thanks for the question, Donnie. So at all the NFLCs, the FBLA PBL marketplace will be open from 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. on Friday and then from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. on Saturday. There you'll be able to find the official FBLA PBL apparel and jewelry 
as well as some fun and practical, practical items and gifts. And the marketplace also has official supplies and accessories as well as competitive event items and all official FBLA PBL certificates. You can find out more about the items that will be at the marketplace at the NFLCs online at fblamarketplace.org.com. And we just got some really exciting items at the beginning of this year, so you'll be able to find them there as well. Thanks, Bruna. And if you are interested in those t-shirts, make sure that you visit um, the marketplace quickly because those sizes sell out fast. They seem to be a popular item at each one of our NFLCs. It's always great to come back, um, you know, on the plane and you're all wearing your shirts and you feel like a complete um, chapter in unit. It just presents unity a little bit more. So um, in closing, right before we close, Bruna, could you tell them probably one of the best experiences you had from NFLC and why you were glad that you went? Definitely. So last year I attended the National Fall Leadership Conference in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and I would by far say the best experience I had was to be able to network and meet so many new friends without having the stress of competitive events um, to study for throughout the conference. It's definitely an experience that everyone that's super passionate about FBLA, we can all get together and we can all learn so much. Um, in a more laid back environment while still experiencing the FBLA PBL experience, whether you're a state officer, a local chapter officer, a member, or a professional division member, Phi Beta Lambda, um, you're definitely going to have an amazing experience there. That's really great. Yeah, I, again, I, I've been in this organization a long time. I've been a member, I've been an FBLA advisor, and it's just such a great experience to be there with all of those students and all of those advisors and everybody is like so excited and I always look at it as if you go to the NFLC it really jump starts your year and everybody comes back and you're motivated and ready to jump into those different activities and it's really the opportunity for you to learn more about the national programs and really make the most out of the FBLA experience not just for the students but for the advisors as well I think that um, advisors are almost more excited for students when you actually go all the way through the year and your students are on stage at the state or national conference and they've excelled in the business achievement awards or CMAP or LEAD or they're winning an event. So really, really think, think about going to the NFLC is such a great experience. Let's see, do we have any more questions? Does anybody else have any more questions? I guess I don't see any coming in. So. Looks like that's the end of the questions. For those of you listeners, if you think about a question later on, um, make sure you go ahead and email us. We're very open to that. Ask, and sometimes it's always like you walk away and you're like, oh, I wish I would have asked that question. So if you need to ask any questions, you can email me at membership at fbla.org or Bruna. And Bruna, you want to give them your email address? Definitely. It's fblasec at fbla.org. Okay, we thank you for joining us today, and we hope you have a really good week. Have a nice evening. Thank you so much.